Look, we 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 do. It says expand the following in legendary theories. We do sort of the same thing we did uh, with uh, with Fourier theories, um, right? Uh, so if we're doing number one, uh, we need to rewrite this f of x as uh, some bunch of coefficients. Since we use L for legendary polynomials, let's use L. C L P L of X. Okay, from L equals zero to infinity. And the problem becomes how do we find those coefficients, the C Ls? And for that, we do the same exact thing we did when we found the coefficients of a Fourier series expansion, if you remember. Uh, what we could do here is we could multiply both sides of this equation by uh, PM of x, another Legendre polynomial, mth degree Legendre polynomial. And the reason we do that is, uh, and then we integrate, of course. We integrate from minus 1 to 1 because that's the interval of the Legendre polynomial. Um, uh, and, the, and, and when we do that, so we will get, minus 1 to 1 uh, f of x times pm of x dx. Okay. And this here is L equals 0 to infinity. Cl, I could put this outside the integral since it's a constant. Um, and I could pull the integral inside the series, so minus L to L, or in this case, minus 1 to 1. Okay. Uh, P, L, X, P, N, X, or P, M, X. D, X. Okay, now... Because we said that the Legendre polynomials are orthogonal and they form an orthonormal set, uh, all the coefficients here are zeros except except the one that has cm in it. Okay, and so what this is equal to, except when these two are the same, that's when you get one. That's what we did on the previous section with normalization. So this gets you cm times 2 over 2m plus 1. This is, if you remember, equation 8, 1. Okay? And, uh, and this is uh, now uh, minus 1 to 1 uh, f of x. PM X DX. Okay, well, uh, let's take it one by one. Uh, when M is zero, we this becomes uh, minus one to one, and uh, F, what's F of X here? It's between minus one to zero. It's minus one. So let's go from minus one to zero. Uh, right. Uh, minus one to zero, and uh, f of x, which is what was it? From uh, it's minus one, minus one, and this is p zero of x dx. And this would be C0 times 2 over 1. And uh, what is P0? Uh, uh, P0, huh? P0 is 1. P0 is 1. Uh, anyways, uh, th this had to be uh, because uh, from... Oh, wait, we forgot the, uh, the other one. So 
plus 0 to 1. Uh, now it's uh, 1. Uh, now it's 1. Uh, P0 x dx. And this is equal to C0 over 1. Okay, so uh, uh, what is C0 here? That is just uh, uh, 1. So we get uh, minus x from minus 1 to 0. Integral of dx is x. And this is x from 0 to 1 equal to C0. Right? Uh, okay, so uh, let's evaluate here. Uh, when we evaluate this, what's the first one? Uh, the first one is uh, minus x. This becomes 1 minus minus 0. That doesn't matter. Plus 0. And this becomes plus 1 uh, equal uh, 2c0. Uh, x minus 0, 1. Oh, wait, uh, I, I did it backwards. It's upper bound minus lower bound. 0 minus minus 1. 0, uh, zero minus 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 1. There's three minuses. There's 1 minus, 2 minus, and there's minus in the rule. So this is minus 1. Okay, plus 1 is 2C0, which makes C0, 0. So that's the first coefficient. Remember, we are finding the coefficient. Okay, uh, now let's do m equals 1. So we did m equals 0. This was uh, m equals 0. Let's keep it same color here. Uh, let's go and do now um, m equals 1. Okay, uh, we'll do the same steps except m equals 1. So we have minus 1 to 1, f of x times P1 equals C1 times uh, 2 over uh, 3 okay, because M is 1. And uh, okay, so split this up. So this is minus 1 to 0. Uh, minus 1 to 0, f of x, the f of x there is minus 1, so this becomes minus 1. And what's p1x is just x plus 0 to 1, and there f of x is 1 times p1, the generated polynomial 1 is minus x, uh, is x, sorry, uh, dx, dx equals two-thirds c1 and uh, if we evaluate here we will get minus x squared over 2 from minus 1 to 0 plus x squared over 2 from 0 to 1 two-thirds c1 evaluate and solve for c1 so we get uh, three uh, we get here two minuses because minus 1 squares to 1 so we get half minus 0 plus half minus zero equals um, two-thirds C1. So half and half is one. So C1 is three halves. So C1, because these two get you a one. So C1 is three halves. So this is the second coefficient. Okay. Uh, now let's go to m equals 2. And if I plug it in the result, I will get minus 1 to 1, f of x, p2, dx, 
is equal to C2, C0, C1, C2, 2 over 2 times 2, so now plug in 2 for L or M, uh, 5, 4 plus 1 is 5. And what is P2? If you remember, P2 is 1 half 3x squared minus 1. Uh, so let's leave the half out. So let me let me just write it here. P2 is 1 half 3x squared minus 1. That's the second Legendre polynomial. So if we leave the half out uh, and then just go minus 1 to 0, and there our function is minus 1, so minus times, uh, oops, oops, this is uh, half. Uh, so minus 3x squared plus 1 dx plus the integral from 0 to 1. Our function there is 1. Here it was minus 1, so we multiplied this by minus 1. Uh, I already foiled the minus sign, so... Okay, times uh, the second Legendre polynomial, which is 3x squared minus 1 dx, and that should equal 2c2 over 5. Uh, integrate, evaluate, then find c2. So we get minus x cubed plus x uh, from minus 1 to 0. And here, same thing, x cubed minus x from 0 to 1 equals 2c2 over 5. Um, if we evaluate this, we will get 0 minus minus minus, so that's minus 1, minus minus plus 1. And here we will get 1 uh, minus 1 minus 0, so we will get 0 here. Uh, this whole thing is 0, so that means C2 is 0. Okay. And we can continue using the same logic. We could go to... Uh, uh, wh where are we now? M equals 3. M equals 3. So we will get... Uh, looks like all the even coefficients will be 0. Um, right? So... Uh, For m equals 3, what's the third legend? So we have uh, minus 1 to 1, f of x, p3, dx, equal, uh, we have 2, c3, over, uh, 2m plus 1, so m is 3, so that's 6, 7. Okay, uh, what is this guy here? This guy here is uh, p3 is... Uh, uh, 1 half... Uh, 5x cubed minus 3x. That's the third Legendre polynomial. Okay, so if we continue, then splitting up the integral, because we have a piecewise function, minus 1 to 0. My, I'll leave this half out. Just leave this half out. Uh, minus, we'll foil the minus sign, so minus 5x cubed plus 3x dx plus... 0 to 1, uh, f of x there is 1 times 5x cubed minus 3x dx, and that's just equal to 2c3 over 7. Uh, let me move this half to the right-hand side and make this a 4 so I don't forget it. So I multiplied both sides by 2, 
or multiplied the two over there however you want to think about it so we have now uh, this is minus 5 over 4 x 4 plus 3 over 2 x squared so minus 1 to 0 plus 5 x 4 over 4 minus 3 over 2 x squared from 0 to 1 okay let's evaluate this 0 is 0 and minus 1 we have two minuses so that's 5 fourths uh, because minus 1 to the 4th is 1. Uh, and here we also have a minus and a plus. So that's minus 3 halves. And here we have uh, a 1 will get you 5 fourths. And here you will get uh, 0 uh, minus 3 halves. 0 will make it 0. So... Uh, and this is just 4C3 over 7. So what's this? 10 fourths, which is 5 halves, minus 3. Uh, so what's this? 6 over 2 equal 4C3 over 7. Uh, we get minus half equals... Uh, Uh, pad got tired. What happened here? Oh. Long question, but pad got tired here. Uh, where was I? Mm, erased some of my things. Come on. Uh, okay, so uh, minus half equals 4C3 over 7, and you get minus 7 eighths for C3. So this leads to C3 equal minus 7 eighths. Okay, looks like the even ones are zeros. So, uh, without going through the math here, uh, C4 will be 0, okay? And, uh, you know, you could keep on rolling and find more coefficients. Uh, and by that, I can finally, up to C4, expand my function. So, I could say my f of x now is... Uh, so C0 was uh, 0, C1 was 3 halves, so 3 halves P1, uh, uh, C3, C2 was 0, and C3 was minus 7 eighths uh, P3x, C4 is 0, so there's no C4, it looks like only the uh, uh, legendary polynomials with odd numbers. Uh, there's no C4. C5, I didn't do it, but I could tell you uh, the answer. Uh, we'll be using the calculator here. It's 11 over 16 for the fifth one, P5. Uh, plus dot, dot, dot. You could keep on going. So we've expanded this f of x, as you see, in a combination of legendary polynomials. That's how you expand a function in legendary polynomials.